Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about how to check if variables or files are loaded right when you open up a GUI. So why would you ever need to use this? Let's say you have an extremely large database that you load into your GUI when you open it up. Depending on the size, this load could take tens of seconds or even minutes. Now imagine you had two different GUIs that utilize that database. Every time you close one of your GUIs, you make sure that you don't delete the database. So then, when the, so then the question is, how do you check if the database is loaded when opening up the next GUI? And you may think it's as easy as using the exist function, which it kind of is, but it's a tiny bit more complicated as I'll show here. So here I have a GUI that's laid out and ready to go. Uh, the, you'll see I have a load data button, I have a static text with the text load status as the tag, an exit button, and a plot, and the figure is called, if you go to the tag, it's called figure one. Okay, so here's the code. So the first thing I want to do is when, is when I press the load data button, I want it to load in the data. So the first thing it needs to do is check if the file exists first. So the data that I'm loading in is from this text file, which is just a million line text file of X and Y data. So I'm going to call the X data, data X, and the Y data, data Y, as you can see here with data X and data Y. So the first thing to do is, to, like I said before, is to check that the file exists. So to do this, we use the exist function, but you have to evaluate it into the base workspace. Uh, and I'll show you why it doesn't work the other way right after I go through this code here. So the first thing to do is to make this string and inside the string have it uh, use the exist function. And you need the, these two, uh, you need two of these uh, quotation marks because otherwise it won't work. And then you can evaluate it into the base workspace, evaluate this string in, and then you can assign the check X and check Y into the base workspace so you can see them over here. So then the exist function returns one if the variable does exist and zero if the variable doesn't exist. So what I'm saying here is if both the data variables exist in the base workspace, so check X is one and check Y is one, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that uh, this uh, static, static text uh, to say it's already loaded in blue. And now if the data variables don't exist, in the base workspace yet. I'm going to set it to loading data in red, and then I'm going to get the file name and file path of the data using UI get file. Uh, I'm just going to open up the file for reading. I'm going to use text scan to get two floats, so the X data, the Y data, with no header lines, a delimiter being a space. Uh, I'm going to extract the X data out using all rows, the first column, and then the Y data using all rows, second column. I'm going to assign the data into the base workspace. So the data X and data Y, so you'll be able to see it over here in the base workspace. Close the file, and I'm going to plot the data by selecting the plot, plot data. Uh, hold on, grid on, not that you really need those in this case. And then plot the X data versus the Y data with a black line. And then I'm going to set the static text to say raw data loaded in blue. Now when I exit the GUI, I'm going to, or this is from the exit the GUI button, I'm going to first clear the command window down here, and then I'm going to clear all the variables except the large data, so except data X and data Y, so those should stay here, but that means that the check X and check Y uh, will disappear. Uh, and then I'm also going to delete the figure. So if I run this right now, using F5, you can see check X and check Y show up to be zero, and I didn't show you that part of the code yet, but let me just load the data in. So right here it says press to load data, that's the default, and now I'm going to press load data, and I'm going to select my data file, and you see it takes a couple of seconds because it's such a large large file. It says raw data loaded and it pops up here. You can see data X and data Y over here. They're pretty big. Okay, and now if I exit, the check X and check Y should disappear and these data X and data Y should stay here. So I exit that. Okay, now what I have up here is before the uh, GUI is made visible, it also does a check. Because if I didn't have this in here, if I get rid of this, we can run it again. And you can see the data's here, but now it says press to load data, and nothing pops up. If I press the load data, you'll remember in the actual load data function, it will say already loaded, and the x and the y, or and the check x and the check y will show up as as ones. But I'd like it to say already loaded when I actually load up the GUI, so I don't have to worry about pressing that button. So what I did here was I did the same exact thing essentially. Again, just use the exist function for the data X and data Y, evaluate it into the base workspace, assign it in, and then here we say if it is loaded already, say that it's already loaded, and then since you said that it's already loaded, you need to evaluate uh, that into this 
because this here before it actually opens up the GUI is not the base workspace. So to plot the data again, you need to actually evaluate it into this particular uh, section here, and then you can plot the data. So now if I do, if I run it F5 here, you'll see that it's already loaded and it'll load the data as well. So let me just run through that again. I'm gonna clear all the data, nothing over here. Press F5, nothing's in here. These say that it's zero. I'm gonna load the data. I actually have to load the data in. It'll take a couple of seconds. Okay, it shows up. I'm gonna exit out of here. I'm gonna run it again. I'll reload it, it pops up. Okay, so the question might be, why can't I just use the, just use exist? And that is, let me show you here actually. So if I comment that out, if I just say, okay, I want the check X to be exist data X, and I want check Y to be exist data Y, we can run this, it'll say already loaded. And then when I click it, even though it's already loaded, it'll open it up and say, oh, select the data file, and then it starts to load it again, which is a problem. And that's because this data X isn't actually loaded into you know this function. You need to evaluate data X in for it to say, oh, it exists in here. That's why we use the eval in function, because it evaluates it into the base workspace where data X and data Y exist. So then you can also say, oh, well, why don't I just say data X is equal to eval in data X like this, and data Y is equal to eval in base data Y, and we can run it, and then when you click it, it's fine, but it won't work if you clear all of the variables here, run it again, press load data, it'll give you an error because data X doesn't actually exist yet, and you're trying to evaluate something that doesn't exist into this function. So that's why you need to use a combination of the exist and the eval in to check if things exist uh, if, especially if you have these large databases. So thanks for watching.